Hey guys, it's Megan and today I'm gonna be showing you and trying on a huge and I literally and I literally mean huge back to school clothing haul. So I finally Finally feel like I bought my dream wardrobe. I made this video once before but I still don't really feel like it captured what my style was So before this video I did a little bit of research and by research I mean I just went on Pinterest and I made a mood board But it's very helpful and I recommend for you guys to do that too if you don't know what your style is I saved every single outfit that I was drawn to regardless if I would wear it or not I was able to see what the trend of everything that I liked was kind of like a Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf kind of style, like very preppy skirts, thigh-high boots, blouses, a lot of accessories. So I bought most of my stuff from Shein because your girl is on a budget. I'm a full-time student. I cannot go anywhere else. I did though buy a secondhand jacket from Depop. I got it for £10 and it's originally like £55 or something. So, I was really excited about that. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and let's start the haul. So you may have noticed that my backdrop just changed. I blew up my candle and I got rid of the plant because Carl's outside. You can see. Stop filming me. I don't want to be in your video. I'm gonna start off with this. Oh, I not show my address. I'm gonna start off with this little package, which I think is a pair of shoes. What are you doing? No. He always does this when he comes out. Oh, come on. We're going back then. Yay, there you go. Well, I guess I can put my normal backdrop again. Your backdrop only looks nice because I'm in it. So the first thing that I got were these cute little white heels. I really wanted to start wearing heels and like just dressing a little more girly. Like this is something that I would find comfortable walking in and going to school in. You know, I compare this with so many different things. I compare this with jeans, thigh high socks, skirts, shorts. So the next thing that I have in here is, oh, what is this? This looks like a blouse. Oh, it is. Okay. What? I'm so confused. I didn't know I ordered this. I think maybe there's a mix-up because I don't remember getting this one, but I'll double check. Ooh. Yeah, girl. So these are some plain suede booties. I love they smell a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. I love these kind of boots, but whenever you go into a store, I always find that they have like some thing added to it that doesn't make it just look plain and black. So I really wanted these plain booties. These are really comfortable. Then the next thing that I got were another pair of shoes. These are the exact same as the white ones, but I got them in black. So the next thing that I got was, oh, cute. This is um, just like a basic bodysuit. I got this because I have been wearing my other one for a very long time. I think I got it in 2016 and it has like these little stains that won't come out and it's not cute. So this is just like a basic thing to have in your wardrobe and can go with anything. So this is a staple that I needed to rebuy. That feels like really good quality too. It's like a very um, stretchy fabric. <gasps> Ooh, I was excited for this one. <sighs> this beautiful blouse. It has lace all down the sides everywhere. And I really love that it has like this little white material inside so it's not so see-through. But yeah, this is extremely cute, extremely girly. It feels good material too. Even though it's like that lace design, it's not like scratchy or anything. It's very soft. The next article of clothing that I bought. So what is this? Oh, um, this is my, my baggy black tee. I got this in a size small. But I really wanted like an oversized black shirt, like just for those days where I feel really lazy. I don't have this and this is definitely a staple to have in your wardrobe. It feels very good material too. I really, really like this. Like it doesn't seem like cheap. I don't know if it looks cheap, but it definitely doesn't feel cheap. The next thing that I got was, this looks like a blouse. I'm kind of nervous about the blouses because these are cheap. Oh no, <gasps> it's a skirt. Okay, I bought this pleated white tennis skirt. Okay, so here is the skirt. I really like it. It's not too short. 
It's very, very see-through in the back, so there's like a party in the back, but it's very like flowy and cute. Once I have like some shapewear, oh, I do have shapewear actually. Excuse me, shapewear, where are you? We need you in a time like this. I don't know where it is, but I normally have it. This is something I normally wouldn't wear, and I'm really excited for this. This is a um, mermaid type skirt, and it comes with this cute little black ribbon, but this is so cute. This is something that I really, really gravitated to over and over again on Pinterest, and I just think like this would look so cute and I feel like because even though winter is coming, at least here in the northern hemisphere, this can be, you know, paired up with tights and boots and, you know, cute little jackets. I really, really love that. I'm excited to try that. It feels like a good thick material as well. I'm in love with this skirt. The skirt is so comfortable. It's super thick. It's fitted really nicely. I love this outfit. It looks so cute. To go with that, I purchased this. Cute little pea coat, whatever you call it, um, in that same kind of design. I actually saw this on Pinterest, this outfit. I'll link it right now. That's the kind of vibe I was going for with this jacket. Oh my god. I don't even feel like myself right now. This is really out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I'd ever have the balls. <laughs> Look at so This is like private school vibes. Like my daddy's rich. Sorry, not daddy. My dad is rich and he's sending me to school internationally because I like Harry Potter. The next article of clothing that I've bought is blouse. So it's a black blouse with these puffy sleeves on the side. I really like puffy sleeves as you can tell. Um, but I just thought this was really cute because you can dress this up and you can dress this down I am very glad that I got that. I think this is one of my favorite things so far Like it's so cute and classy, but it's so simple like you can literally wear this down or dress this up So I've dressed this up with the mermaid skirt like The next thing that I got was a white Sweater, so I don't have any turtleneck white sweaters. This is very like nice material. It's very soft It does look a little see-through. I'm not gonna lie, but for like five pounds or however much it was It's good. What is this? Oh another pleated skirt it's the same as the White one, but it's in the black version. Okay, so this is the skirt I absolutely <laughs> Love this skirt. It's not see-through at all, which is surprising because the white version was, but this one is really, really thick and I feel very comfortable in it. I love the length. I love that it's not like too high. It's not too short. It looks super cute when it's paired with these thigh-high socks and these little heels. Next up, something that's kind of trending right now, which is um, this whole sweater and blouse vibe, but I just thought that this was so cute. I love it. It's very casual. I thought that this would look so cute with like the tennis white skirt that I have, like this and this. On the bottom okay so this is the outfit you can't really see but I have like the little white thigh high things with these heels but the only problem is like this thing is so see-through for some reason it's not see-through in the but it's see-through in the back this is the look I was trying to emulate and then this is me I don't know it's a different look what do you guys think I don't know if this this trend suits me, but I just thought I wanted to do something for a change, so I'm glad I got it. And the last piece of clothing, so I'm not finished with the accessories yet. The last piece of clothing that I bought was this pinafore. So I saw this outfit on Pinterest, but you see how like this is see-through? You can't really notice it now, which is really good. I actually love this. I think this is my favorite outfit so far. This is so comfortable too. Okay, so now let's go on to accessories. So I bought a lot of accessories because I feel like that's the whole part of an outfit that makes it you. Like you can wear the same piece of clothing, but you will look completely different to someone else because you're just going to dress it up differently. The first accessory that I got was a new scarf. Oh, this is so soft. I love it. I really love the colors. I think this will go good with like all the clothes that I bought, very like cool toned and neutral. 
I think. I don't know. I don't really know clothes that well. Then, <laughs> for my bag, I purchased this. This is cute. This was, I don't even know, it was probably like five pounds or something cheap like that. Look at that. To go with all my outfits, I bought these little polka dot tights. So yeah, I bought polka dot tights. I'm so excited to wear these. I'm gonna wear these to school tomorrow. They also, what are they? Huh? What are these? Oh, I know. With that plain blouse, this was supposed to go with it. That makes more sense now. So yeah, that first blouse that I showed has this little ribbon beside it. So I will try that on with the ribbon. Okay, don't get me wrong. I like the blouse and I absolutely love this black bow. It's just very see-through. So I'm definitely going to need like a white tank top or something. So I already have thigh-high black socks, but I also wanted to get these ones, which are white. I wanted to go for like a clueless vibe. Then I also picked up, what are these called again? I forgot. They're like these um, textured socks that go very high. So then when you're wearing sneakers or booties, then you can have these showing. I just thought these were really cute. If I'm wearing heels, like socks and heels or something. So I got that. So moving on to jewelry. So the first thing that I bought for jewelry jewelry was this so these are like little fake jewelry studs so it has like small all the way to really large which i really like because i have two holes here so i like to have it like big and small but literally i have one two three four five six seven eight eight times one two three four five six seven eight nine seventy two seventy two individuals which is seventy two divided by two Oh my gosh, what is this math right now? 36. So you have 36. Wow, that's a lot. I think I got this for like a few pounds. But it's definitely very, very cheap. And it probably will give me an infection on my ear. But that is okay. That is okay. We're, we're here for it. I'm fine. The next thing that I bought for accessories was this. So this is inspired by Mitzi. Because... If you didn't know, I have a, a little jumping spider. Her name's Mitzi, and she's made me fall in love with spiders. I think that they're so cute. Like, to an extent, there's some that I don't find cute, but she's made me, like, you know, respect them. It's this necklace with a web, and then it has a little spider dangling at the bottom. Is there a spider in here? I just wanted to wear Mitzi on me wherever I go. Right, Mitzi? Where is she? This one was more of like a joke, I guess. Not really a joke, but I really wanted to get crocodile earrings. And when I was searching for it, I found these, which I thought was so funny. I'll insert the picture, actually. I'm going to clean these first. I'm going to wear them, and it just looks like they're biting on your ear. I just thought these were really cute. Then another thing that I got were also pet inspired. I got this which is like a little snake ear thing. It looks kind of confusing to get on, but I'll insert a picture below so you guys can check it out. It's like a snake that wraps around your ear, and then this is a stud, I think. Yeah, you know, I gotta represent waffles. See, look, Mitzi, I guess you could say the crocodiles are kind of like Carl, and then waffles. I couldn't find anything cute that was chameleon. Another thing of jewelry that I got was this, which is a cute little choker. It's like all bejeweled, and it's like pearls with a little gold ring. This looked really classy when I saw it, like, on the reviews. Let me see if I can try this on. Oh my god, <laughs> it's really cute. I'm gonna wear this the whole time now. I bought another one similar which is another choker and instead of like bling it's just pearls so it's a little cute pearl necklace so it's gold with a little gold or sorry it's pearl with a little gold ball that's like alternating them but i thought that this would be really cute as well because i don't have that and it, i think it would go really well with the clothes that i bought i purchased these Super cute little earrings. I thought these were so classy. They're just these pearl studs with this little accent on the bottom. And last but not least, I have this jacket that I got from Depop. I was originally going to buy this for like 55 pounds, but they were out of stock. But I found it on Depop for 10 pounds. Second hand, pretty much good as new for 10 pounds. And this jacket is so nice it's a velvet puffer jacket i'm not joking this is the cutest warmest 
and comfiest jacket I think I've ever owned. Like I literally feel like, I don't know, I feel like a big marshmallow or something. And it's so warm. Oh, like I actually have to take this off. Like I'm actually starting to sweat. Don't worry, I've already washed this. Smells nice and clean. So yeah, that was the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Overall, I'm really, really happy with all my items. I feel like really excited to dress like this. It's definitely like a different vibe, but I'm just really excited because I've always wanted to dress like this. I'm 26 now, and I gotta get over my fear of dressing up. I don't think I need to explain myself, but I did not grow up in a good area I grew up in a pretty bad neighborhood where like you don't want to draw attention to yourself because you know, I just have to get over my fear like I'm gonna regret it if I don't dress how I want to dress So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or got inspiration for your new wardrobe Guys, okay, so before you go, I just want to give an update on my second channel I've kind of had a change of heart by the way with my second channel I was just kind of thinking about it and I feel like maybe I should just put everything on the same channel Like my study with me's and just kind of leave the second channel for bloopers or re-uploads so thank you guys anyways for subscribing to that channel there's like over a thousand of you so if you want to unsubscribe from that channel go ahead but i am going to be posting re-uploads and stuff like that i'm gonna stop babbling i'll see you guys next thursday or potentially next monday for a study with me so i love you guys bye